In the catalogue of killings in Syria over the last 15 months, the Hula massacre stands out. United Nations human rights investigators have corroborated what activists told us. More than 100 people, mostly women and children, were shelled, shot and stabbed to death, and government forces may have done it. This was the Syrian government's response. Syria delegation will withdraw from the session as a protest of this barefaced bias. After being blocked by pro-government activists, UN monitors managed to visit the site and interview residents. But the government wouldn't let the UN's human rights investigators who wrote this report into Syria. So they carried out 383 interviews abroad, either with exiles, by phone or on Skype. This, they say, is the town where the killings took place, Taldu in the Hula area, 25 kilometres from Homs. Here on Sad Road, between 4 and 6 in the afternoon of May the 25th, a group of men killed at least 50 civilians, most from just one family, the Abdul Razaks. Night fell, then after 11pm, more killings, this time as many as 15 members of the Syed family. One boy survived and in two interviews blamed pro-government militiamen, the Shabiha. Both the Syrian army and the opposition had military posts nearby, and investigators say either side could have got access. That said, Taldu is surrounded by villages home to members of President Assad's Alawite sect, and some sources said two minibuses headed to one of these places after the massacre. There's also one Shia village nearby. It's thought all or nearly all the victims were Sunni Muslim. Most were shot in the chest or head, some knifed, possibly even axed. Their houses were then looted. But the truth is the investigators can't say for sure who did this. I think even as time passes, uh, uh, you can still do very good work in, in trying to find out exactly what happened. Uh, this is why we think we need to keep the pressure up uh, on the authorities to, to allow this uh, Commission of Inquiry of the Human Rights Council to get in, to allow international human rights monitors uh, to, to get into Syria and investigate. The report says the killings were similar to others documented to have been committed by government forces. And the investigators say the army's shelling will have caused some of the deaths. This UN study didn't just look at the Hula massacre, but the whole range of human rights violations in Syria. It concludes that brutal killings, torture, rape, kidnaps and bombings are now commonplace. The final article simply says the militarization of the crisis will be catastrophic, both for the people of Syria and the whole Middle East. Will Jordan, Al Jazeera.